Our next guest today is with uh, A-S-H, Ash Said It, LLC. <laughs> okay, Ash, you've got a lot of background in uh, communications, radio, uh, you name it, uh, social light. You're a social light. <laughs> Ash Brown, tell us about Ash Said It. Ash Said It, guys? wow. Okay, well, thank you so much for having me today. It is oh. a pleasure to be here with uh, other entrepreneurs. And Ash Said It, LLC came into play May of last year, and... It really came out of a place where I briefly was in the military. I was in the Army Reserve, and I went off to basic training on December the 30th, and on the 31st, my mom passed away. So I didn't actually finish basic training, and because I didn't finish, I came back home. I came and was taking care of some house cleaning stuff and just really taking care of family and things, and I didn't have anything for myself. And I ended up going back and helping other people with their companies. And they knew about my marketing background. I knew about my degrees and everything. Mm -hmm. And I ended up helping a whole bunch of other people. And it came to a point where everyone was taking. Everyone was taking from me. Everybody was getting things out of me. And I came to a point where I just stood up and I was like, I don't have anything for myself. I'm not doing anything for me. I'm doing anything for everybody else. But I don't have anything for myself. So I pulled away from a lot of the negative people and situations that I was encountering. And Ash said it kind of came into itself. I was like, okay, I sat and I thought for probably weeks on end, what is it that I do best? What can I do? Um, What are some of my talents? And I was like, well, speaking, talking. My background is in radio, radio production. And I had a couple of friends that had a couple of radio stations here in Atlanta. And I came on and I was kind of a guest for them. And one thing led to another, and people started hiring me on to MC their events. Uh, I oh. trained and got my certification to become a wedding officiant. I started doing weddings around Atlanta. Um, last year, I went and did the Wounded Warriors Project in Colleen, Texas. So opportunities have really opened up, and it really stemmed from me taking a step back and believing in myself versus believing in everyone else's vision for me. And so Ash said it came to be from that. Wow, that's quite a... <laughs> That's quite a story. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, that, that's amazing. I mean, that's really it's a lot. how things happen. It is. Us, when it? you're not, you know, they said life is what happens when you're making plans. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. excellent, excellent. Well, you gave it a heads up. Uh, I, I pol- uh, applaud you for that. <laughs> uh, I really like your, uh, your, your tag. I guess it's a tag, uh, <laughs> you know, a full service public speaking boutique. Yes, I is saw that. that. that? Yeah, well, that really, I always try to find a niche for myself. And I've never heard anybody say anything about a public speaking boutique. Ooh, what is that? So if I create something and I say, hey, it's a public speaking boutique. We can do your fashion shows. We can do your empowerment brunches. We can do whatever you need us to do. I can tailor it for your event. A red carpet. A red carpet. A red carpet event. event. So uh, (laughs) have you always had an interest in world entertainment? Really? I think so. I think a lot of my interest came, uh, I was about 18 years old when I started modeling and acting. So that's where a lot of my background, I was really interested in it at that time. But like most things, if it's not a passion of yours, you soon burn out on it. Oh, it's not, you know, you lose interest in it. And so radio came into play a lot when um, when I was in school. I mm-hmm. went to Columbus State University. And at that time, they were known as, uh, well, we're not going to say that. Columbus? Name. Columbus State University okay. and Columbus GA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I got my BA in communications out there. Ah, excellent. And I had a, um, I was a production assistant for about four years out there. And I learned all aspects of radio production, management, producing, editing spots to a T. Had my demo. I was so excited. I graduated in 2006. I was like, yes, I'm going to go back to Atlanta. I'm going to get a job with those big stations. Everything's going to be great. And I came to Atlanta and they were not feeling me. Oh, really? Atlanta did not show any love whatsoever. They didn't care about my resume. They didn't, they didn't want to hear my demo. They didn't care. And so I faxed my resume literally about three to four months straight to all the major stations in Atlanta. Faxed my resume. I was mailing out demos. I don't even think about how much money I spent on mailing that stuff, you guys, because it was a lot of stuff. (laughs) But um, I finally got in contact with the program director with one of the big stations here in Atlanta. And I will never forget what he said. He said, no. He said, no. (laughs) He said, he said, no, he said, you know what? You're coming from Columbus. Columbus is a small market. You're not going to be able to balance out Atlanta. Atlanta is a completely different beast. And I remember just being really crushed. But in that moment, um, you know, I went and just got a regular nine to five and I was miserable. Didn't love it. I did some online stuff, which it kind of helped me keep my skills up. Mm -hmm. And it helped a lot with 
me branding myself. Um, I had the Ash said it. Um, excuse me, the Ash Beezy, uh live with Ash Beezy podcast yeah, Ash show. Ash Beezy, that's what's that a nickname? Or, <laughs> that was a nickname uh, that, how did that I that come about. I had a friend of mine. She was like, "Well, you know, you got to jazz up your name. You can't just be Ash Brown on the radio. You got to come up." Yeah, so she's like, "Why don't you call yourself Ash Beezy? That's fine. That's like something it. new." I like it. So it I used that, <laughs> used that for for some years, and it was a lot of fun. And I love the podcast, and I still get downloads to this day, which is awesome. And from that. Um, I started to kind of transition with different gigs, different jobs. And there was a point where I want to say maybe 2010, I was working a state job and I hated it also. And so I quit it and I was like, you know, I'm taking care of family, take care of home. And I didn't have anything for myself. Mm -hmm. So in late 2013, that's when I really wanted to do the army thing. Cause I was like, you know what? This is a challenge for me. This is something that I've always wanted to do to serve my country. Mm -hmm. And this was a perfect opportunity for me. Why not? Why not do it? Mm -hmm. So I dropped 97 pounds. I trained daily. I learned all of the jargon, all of the history of what I was jumping myself into. And I went off to basic training. And um, a lot of people will ask, oh, well, you know, you know, you knew your mom was sick and, you know, things of that nature when you were leaving. Would you ever um, do you regret going off to the army? And I have to say no. Uh, my mom was very much my backbone with everything. She was my biggest supporter in life. Mm -hmm. And she would have wanted me to go and follow my dream and follow my heart. Okay. And even though she was going through um, so much at that time, I knew that this was my time to to finally take that step out, take that leap out on faith. Okay. And I knew that I had her blessing in it. But um, All right. Yeah. All right. That's touching. Touching. <laughs> Ash Brown, CEO of Ash. Ash. Said it. A-S-H. Said, said, said it. And uh, that's great. So let's focus on uh, where the company's going. And, yeah. uh, you know, because you, you are multifaceted. I am And when you look at your site, you know, you're covering a lot of ground there. I okay? am covering so, a lot um, of stuff. How can people focus on, you know, what you're about, uh, come, you know, going forward? Gosh, going forward, you guys can always check out ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. And Gwinnett Relay, that goes on every year in Lawrenceville, GA, at the Gwinnett Fairgrounds. It is the largest Relay for Life event in the world. What is Relay for Life? Relay for Life is an event where we celebrate cancer survivors, ah. people that are going through cancer. And this is a day for them to celebrate, to have a great time. It's a 12-hour plus event, you guys. All right, so it's an overnight event. And <laughs> last year they had over like 9,000 people that came through in support of cancer, cancer research. All the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. And it's an amazing event. So if you guys want to come out or you can go to RelayForLife.org backslash Gwinnett GA and you can get involved with us. It's going to be a great event. Starts at about 6 p.m. Ends at about 7 a.m. Mm. It's going to be fun. Excellent. excellent. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of energy <laughs> and you've got a great story. Uh, uh, if you could look back on your what what you've accomplished so far and, and kind of share that or think about how you would, uh, you know, do it better, different, or, or just, uh, help somebody else that may be in this same boat, you know, yeah. what would you advise people uh, uh, starting a career like you to start a career? Um, you definitely have to have thick skin. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a big part mm -hmm. of it. You've got to have you've very, taken the nose, very, <laughs> you've taken the nose. We know that that's, you gotta be tough. You, right? you, you gotta be tough. Uh, you have to believe in yourself. And I think that, um, this company, I could have started it five years ago. I could have started it 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that I was in the right place in my life to really delve into um, such a such a feat, such a, a venture in life. So, so timing you, is part Timing of it. is a big part mm -hmm. of it as well. I think mm -hmm. so as well. Mm -hmm. um, all my experience really paved into it, but I think timing was a big part of it. And believing in yourself, um, capturing that dream, and not listening to anyone else because people are always going to have an opinion. Okay. All right. <laughs> and where is Ash going uh, in the Ash... Set it going in the next five years. Ash said it is skyrocketing. Yes, we're vision? skyrocketing. We're 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 all over the globe. Okay. I, I can't even I, I can't tell you one specific thing in, in particular, but I know that it is going to take over. It can it can it can turn on a dime. It's, can it? it's definitely that's great. That's great. <laughs> Any parting uh comments or words for uh, you know how to reach out to you. And yeah, I guess your um, website yeah, just, is, is. Yeah, the website is, is key. Um, Ash said it dot com. Ash said mm -hmm. it dot com. You can also call us 1-800-274-4936. Or I'm on all social platforms at One Love Ash. That's the number one. Love Ash. And whatever your dream is, I tell these people all the all the time on my podcast show, whatever your dream is, follow your heart. Don't listen to anyone else. Anyone to tell you that you can't do it. You turn around and tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Mm -hmm. And I would encourage all young uh, women 
who are Absolutely. business leaders in Atlanta to reach out and find out a little yeah. bit about you because uh, you are definitely doing a lot for women's uh, business movement in Atlanta. Thank you. That's great. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having Ish. me. Excellent.